Hi everyone, welcome to Create a Toolbox, a show brought to you by ServiceNode Developer Program. In this show, we demo new features for every developer's toolbox. My name is Prana Bhagat and our guests for today are Suresh and Karthik. Let's hear from them. Hi, good afternoon, good evening uh, or good morning based on where you're seeing us. My name is Karthik Lanka and I'm a part of the product team here at ServiceNow. Suresh. Thanks, Gatik. Hi, hi, everyone. My name is Suresh, and I'm working as a senior product, principal product manager and service now. So welcome again, both of you, and thanks for being here. In this video, we're going to talk about RPA bot generation, and this is one of my favorite topics from the Yokohama release. So I'll let Karthik talk about what it is and why it is built. So Karthik, like, uh, explain us, like, what's the use case, why it's built of course so rpa pranav as you obviously know is an ability where uh, you can build automations and you can let the robots go and uh, con execute the automations that you have built now why somebody would want to use rpa within service now of course for many reasons uh, one it is a very tactical solution for the customers to make sure that that uh, a lot of processes can be automated in a very non-intrusive manner you do not basically need too much of a change in the existing process. It's just a matter of uh, placing RPA on top of a process and the pro and uh, the robot can go and execute it. As a part of this whole exercise, one of the things that we have been hearing for the customers is, and which is common across all RP products as well, is that it usually takes a lot of time for somebody to build an automation. For example, a simple uh, complexity automation takes around one to two weeks to build and push it to production, two to four weeks for a medium complexity and a high complexity automation takes anything about four, four and above. So with this, it's always, we, everybody's always trying to innovate more and more with respect to how somebody can build automations faster. Now, this is a very developer focused product that is there, but we also at the same time want to make sure that we democratize the capabilities of the product and expand the horizons of who all can build uh, automations as well. Luckily, uh, last couple of years ago, there was an inflection point with a generative AI coming into picture and everybody was uh, trying to uptake the capability. The service now's prime focus is put AI to work. Uh, that's, the, that's the prime focus of, of service now as well, where, where they would want to go and push and infuse generative AI and agents within all of their offerings as well. And it, but obviously made a lot of sense to bring that capability into solving the primary problem for our customers where they can build automations faster and they can also go ahead and anybody can go and build the automations at the same time. So we came up with this capability in Yokohama, which is called text to bot where you can simply do a very conversational type of bot development activity as well. There are multiple entry points into how somebody can put in a prompt and a, an automation can be generated. That is something that I believe Suresh will show. But that's the whole idea of why we got this whole capability in bringing multiple different reasons as to why uh, a capability like this is useful for the customers. Additionally, uh, there is a very specific use case that we are currently targeting, but a very simple use case at the same time as well. It's about a lot of process operations where somebody is working on it has to go through their emails and probably scan through it, scan through it and read very specific information from those emails. Now, in this use case, what we're talking about is there will be emails that will be there in the system uh, with a very specific subject line and attachments associated to it. You can consider this as invoices or any other attachments, but for this use case, we are talking about invoices. So the ask, so what we are going to develop today is we are going to read, let the robot read uh, emails from an email email box with a spe with a specific uh, filter on top of it and then it will download all the attachments from there put it into a specific folder and then the bot will go and iterate through the uh, documents i think that's a pdf file in this case the document the pdf files it will iterate through it and then extract information from each and every PDF that is that it has picked up. So that's the use case that is there. Mind you, uh, it's, it's generative AI, 
there might be uh, some additional updates that you might have to do once an automation is built. It's not it's not mandatory that everything is built immediately, but it helps the productivity for a particular developer to build everything faster rather than going into each and every 2700 components to figure out which component to be used. This is a faster way to build your automations. So that's about the context of the use case and why we have built it. I will hand it over to Suresh to walk you through to the demo. Thank you. Thanks, Karthik, for setting up the context and the RPA. Uh, let's dive into the feature text to bot. So the first things first, uh, now to use the now assist feature, first you have to install the now assist for RPA Hub and go to now assist admin and ensure that you activated the RPA bot generation skill so that you will be able to utilize our text to bot feature in the studio. So uh, let me open up the studio. And so there are uh, multiple ways you will be able to use this uh, text to bot feature you, where you will be providing the prompt and the automation will be generated. The first thing is on the automation creation. So as you in the home page, when you click on create automation, you will be getting an option whether you want to build with now assist or build manually. And when you choose build with now assist, it gives an options to define the prompt. And also as Pranav Pran was earlier asking about the prompt directions, it provides all the tips and also gives some example. And it, it provides different links to understand more about this feature. So for now, as Karthik has already explained about the use case, let's just use simple, simple prompt to read the emails where the invoice is there and I wanted to download that attachment onto my local machine. Let me paste this invoice uh, prompt. So what I'm uh, giving here is retrieve all unread emails from the inbox. I write each email and save all the PDF attachments in the so-and-so path defined here. And when I click on generate preview, so the this information is going to send it to the now assist and thereby LLM and we'll get the response. Mission has been generated and you can validate this information if you wanted to extend this, enlarge this, understand the components that was generated. See here, uh, we are setting the account and reading the emails and looping through and saving the attachments. Once you are satisfied, you can click on next. Otherwise, you can provide the prompt and regenerate the preview and uh, continue the automation. So this looks fine to me. So I'll go ahead and click on next. And this is where I'll provide the name of the automation. And then once I click on save and edit, the project is going to be created. As you can see here, it gives a info message. Be sure to check if for accuracy and make any edits before running. So the same automation which we have seen in the preview got generated. And here in order to use set my account, let me modify and provide my input. And the other thing is iterating through emails. I just have to make a connection. And the prompt, in the prompt, I have defined the path. The same path is provided here. And it is closing the Outlook as well. So for the interest of time, without closing the Outlook, what I can do is simply ignore this uh, component for that we have skipped this option. And if I can run this, I'll show you the input folder. This is the folder that I have provided as an input. And when we execute this, it is gonna read the emails. And if there is any email with invoice and save the attachments. There is a one email where it is a, having an attachment with invoice and it saved the information over here. So this is how you will be able to use the project creation. There are other two places where you will be able to utilize the text to prompt as well. So, so once you have the automation already built in place and you want to extend further, in this case, I wanted to extend this. So click on any of the component. So here, as you can see here, uh, for each component, there is sparkle icon and you click on this and click on build automation or you can use a shortcut as well, control enter. 
and the provide the prompt so here in this case i'm giving another prompt uh in this example we have saved the pdf now what i will be doing is we have to iterate through the uh, input pdfs um, i can have multiple uh, attachments in the same folder it i have to iterate through each document and extract the text so i'm just uh, giving a prompt so where i am saying retrieve the collection of the files from the path whatever the path that I have given earlier the same path and uh, iterating over each pdf and if i'll click on go the components has been generated and providing an options accept and reject and also highlighting the each components that was generated using the inline prompt option that we have provided so as you can see here these are the new components that got generated where the symbol is there spark icon and so it, what it's doing is it's getting the files from the pdf and iterating through each uh, file within that folder and reading that pdf and then getting the text so this looks good to me i'll go ahead and click on accept otherwise in case if you want to make any changes click on reject and edit the prompt so in this case it's iterating and as you can see here it's only looking for the pdf extensions so one thing that i have to connect is for low for after for each i have to pass the file path i'll make a connection and now everything is set let me go ahead and run it again i'll clear and start run from here now it has read the pdf and as you can see here it has read the pdf information from whatever the invoice that was generated here the same pdf let me open this so here it was able to read that information This is another place where you will be able to use the inline prompting and there is one more option where if you wanted to extend the automation and be make it as a modular is so that other developers can easily to use so we have this option where you can right click on the activities and when you are creating the activities to modular the automation you will be able to use the now assist right click on the activities instead of creating now new activity you have an option new activity using now assist so it's the same thing that we have come across pre earlier you provide the information and preview gets generated if you're satisfied go and click on add activity there you go so these are the three features three places where you will be able to use text to uh, bot basically rpa bot generation while developing the automation or extending any uh, existing automation Thanks, Suresh, for this demo. It was amazing. And what I get from it is like there are three places. One is like when you're building a fresh automation, that's where you can utilize like um, now says to build a bot. And then for the second one is like to extend a functionality. If you have some activities creating, you can add certain things there. And third one is like when you are creating a brand new activity, when your automation is built, so you can add, click on new activity and add those things up. So I'm just asked, this is my thought, like, because when I am building an RPA bot, so you have an old project. If I have an old project and when I click on new activity, Will I also be able to see the build with now assist or that will just show up for the automation that are built with now assist originally? Like, is it like can work on the previous ones also? Yes, Pranav, yeah. you will be able to use this feature on the previous projects. Uh, once you have the bot uh, RPA bot generation skill active, you will be able to use for new as well as existing projects. Amazing. And uh, like we mentioned about prompt, like Karthik, there's a question for you. We mentioned about prompt, right? Multiple times, like Suresh mentioned, like prompt this, that, like how important is prompt? Like we all know that it's super important, but I'd like to hear from you, like how important is the prompt and using, like if your prompt is good, then I we know like the bot will be perfect kind of perfect right so what what do you think about like about no, prompt that's a that's a wonderful question and i think you kind of answered it as well uh anything that that is involving generative ai 
data in the kind of data that you want to put in is very very essential and prompt is the data that you're actually putting in it is imperative for you to be very precise very concise and uh, very clear with respect to what your intent is when you're typing in a prompt the more the vague the prompt is the more the vague the output is you are pro giving it an opportunity to hallucinate as well we do work very hard from our side to minimize the hallucinations from service now's noises noises but having said that it would still be uh, very imperative and we do provide guidances and uh, directions as to how you can write a very good prompt so we do provide tips at e at every point where you are providing a prompt so that you can see look at it we provide examples as well as to how a prompt should look like with that guidance from our side and direction you can probably go ahead and create very very specific instructions that are essential for building any automations thanks for explaining that and um, yeah that's the thing like uh, prompt is super important whether whether you are using now search in anywhere in service now or even generative ai is something like prompt is you should write a prompt like thoroughly and there is i think a framework also that's a risen framework how you can write a proper prompt and i'll just tag that risen framework link uh, we talked about this framework like in one of our streams so yeah and again i like to thank you both for being here and talking about rpa bot generation any final thoughts or comments like i'll start with you karthik any final thoughts or comments on rpa bot generation yeah well, so this is uh, just the tip of the iceberg pranav so we are working on additional aspects as well in the future so please please do lot. stay the please Safe stay tuned. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are coming up. So please do stay tuned with respect to what capabilities we are bringing in. As a, uh, so this capability is a very specific uh, to the developer persona. Uh, and then you will have additional capabilities which are agentic in nature. So that's with, that comes with a safe harbor. But yes, uh, I love to see as to how people are using it. Makes your life easy. And as I said, it's we are, it's democratizing the usage of the product. So you can anybody can, as long as you know how, what what your process demands out of out of you, you can put in a prompt, a concise prompt, and you can build an automation as well. So all the best and happy developing. Perfect. And what about this? already covered uh, most of the things as he was mentioning that give the prompt uh, precise and concise. And he also highlighted about few things that we are planning with this safe harbor notice. Please do keep that in mind. And we are working toward that. Thank you, Prina. Awesome. And I think like one thing I, I can add is like, because I have a good experience with ServiceNow RPA. And when I started with ServiceNow RPA, the learning curve was very steep right because there are a lot of things for a person who is coming from a pure service not developer background uh going into rpa it, it took a while for me but with this i think this is one of the biggest thing i can say in rpa that adding now assist now the whole process of building rp bot is more smoother with now assist and even anyone who is whether they are new to service now or little experience in service now they can build this bot so kudos to the whole product team and so folks that's all we have for this episodes and we have more episodes coming up already so be sure to check out our channel and thank you everyone for watching bye bye